Hello and welcome to this week's Vatican Updates, the most important news from Pope Francis and the Vatican. Pope Francis invited Catholics in Korea to emulate the zeal of their patron saint, Saint Andrew Kim Taigon. The Holy Father met with a delegation of 300 members of the Catholic Church in Korea several hours before permanent installation of a statue of Kim was unveiled in a niche on the exterior of St. Peter's Basilica. Born in 1821, Kim was the first native Korean priest and one of the country's earliest martyrs. Cardinal Matteo Zuppi traveled to Beijing to continue the Vatican's diplomatic efforts to bring peace in Ukraine. Vatican spokesman Matteo Bruni said that Pope Francis continues to support humanitarian initiatives and work towards a just peace. He has described Zuppi's scheduled stop in Beijing as part of the Vatican's peace offensive, which has already included visits to Kiev, Moscow, and Washington, D.C. Catastrophic flooding in Libya resulted in up to 10,000 deaths following multiple dam failures and torrential downpours. The Vatican, meanwhile, said in a telegram that Pope Francis was deeply saddened by the national tragedy, offering prayers to the country as it works to address the disaster and rescue those still affected by it. The Holy Father addressed the Clinton Global Initiative through a live video call and invited people of goodwill to seek the common good. Pope Francis also thanked former U.S. President Bill Clinton for acknowledging pressing issues like climate change, humanitarian crises, and the threat of war. On his website, the Clinton Foundation touts its global initiative as creating a community of doers who are taking action on the world's most pressing challenges together. Pope Francis met with Queen Mathilde and her husband, King Philippe, in the Vatican. The Belgian royals and the Holy Father discussed the war in Ukraine and a shared commitment to peace during the 20-minute meeting, according to a statement released by the Vatican. It was a monarch's second visit to the Vatican this year, as King Philippe and Queen Mathilde also traveled to Rome for the funeral of Pope Benedict XVI in January. Thank you for watching this week's Vaticano Updates. I'm Matthew Santucci for EWTN Vaticano. Thank you.